Okay, so here we go. A very quick video um, of my Phantom 3 with my Google Nexus 7 uh, version 1, the old one, controller. Um, and while we're here is my little homemade sunscreen, which works a treat. Made out of two perfume boxes. Really didn't take long. Bit of Velcro on there, and on the bottom of the Nexus 7, just some Velcro. So all you do is you just pop it on there, turn it on, stick it. It's going absolutely nowhere. That's all you need. Spot on. Okay, so this is the version 1 Nexus 7, and everyone says it doesn't work, and you can't load anything onto it, certainly not the DJI Go app. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to just turn the power on. You'll see the screen come up, and then I'll just fast forward it a little bit, because it takes quite a while to start up. Um, so I may fast forward it. So we're waiting and we're waiting and we're still waiting and then this comes up. Okay, I got rid of the stock um, Android that was on it because when it was updated and they brought the new one out, it just kept getting slower and slower and slower and I got friends with a Nexus 7 and basically they just binned it. So what I did was I went on the internet, got this Cyanogen mod, I'll show you what version it is in a bit when it loads up, um, loaded this on and back to normal, back to full speed, DJI Go app works perfectly um, it's brilliant so if you've got one kicking around oh here we go so if you've got one kicking around already don't chuck it away there's no need so what we'll do is we'll go we'll go to the settings uh, da -da -da -da, in there and then we'll come down to the about the tablet down here and you can see what it says here cyanogen mod version and it if you look on there, look, it tells you that. It tells you it's just a normal Nexus 7 and what it's running. Okay, that's the build date, it says 2014. It's not a 2014 tablet, it's 2014 software because this is the version 1 Nexus 7, the old one. Um, there's only one camera, I don't know what the other one's got because I haven't got one, but there's one camera there that faces you, but there's nothing on the back, well, apart from your Velcro, certainly no camera. So that's that. So let's go back to the beginning. As you can see, it's pretty quick. Hit the DJI Go app, turn the Phantom on and the controller on. Turn it on. Let's have a look. Oh. We're on now. So as you can see, it comes up on here with that out of light, and it's asking us what device do we want to connect. So we'll choose Phantom 3 standard. As soon as it fires itself up, it'll come up, and that will say, "Well, as you know, it'll go blue, and then you can just click on it." So we'll wait for that. And what I always do, um, every single time, and I don't know if it's good practice or not, but when I go to somewhere new, I always toggle the switch one setting, da -da 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 about six times, and that brings up your, your compass. I don't know if you need to do it every single time, but I always do, and that way I know then that it's going to work and come back to home, because then it updates the home point, knows exactly where you are, and there's no problem. Okay. Anyway, I'm still waiting for this. It does work. I don't know why it's not doing it. Probably because it's loading up a load of stuff since I've just turned the tablet back on. Ah, I think I might know what it might have done. It might be on my... Yeah, it's on my home network. So we'll take that off. It's because I'm in the house. Put it back on again. And then click on the Phantom. Here we go. So Phantom, that's it. As you can see now, it's on. There we go, we're, connect, we're connected. So, come back to the standard. There we go, we're on. And there we go. So, that's it, that's what we've got. We've got everything on there. No doubt it's going to say strong, some or other, kicking about signals, because I'm in the house. Okay, so there we go. So that's it. Now what I would normally do is, as I said, I'd toggle the little switch one, 
so it knows exactly where we are um, and take the lens cap off the camera and there am I hello satellite positioning off well it's not it's because we're indoors um, and it works absolutely perfectly so there you go and that's what we can see through the camera and I get no issue with regards to range or anything like that uh, but all these little things on the back of it made a massive difference and I also did the magic power mod so there you go if you've got an Exus 7 wipe it off put a cyanogen mod on it and good to go hope that helps